Is there anything in the castle that we should be afraid of? The energy. Join the Scottish Paranormal Team as they thoroughly investigate this exclusive, private location in Fife, Scotland. Said to be active with over 12 spiritual energies both sentient and non-sentient. Live and pre-recorded sessions will feature from the following areas. Who is the hooded monk figure? Is he a religious figure from the castle's history or visiting energy which is trying to communicate? Does he have a story to share? Is he negative? And will he communicate with us via physical activity or ITC audio work? What's that? Could you stop making that noise? What is that? Okay. Can you make the, the noise louder? What is that, Ali? Can you see what it is? Distinct female energies have been sensed and seen in this area. Are these former residents of the area or perhaps more visitations connected to the castle's history? Will we gain communication with the energy which called out Leslie? What about the shuffling noises from deep within the dark lower levels? Is there anything in the castle that we should be afraid of? The energy. The castle's previous lairds seem to walk this room, communicating, moving around and letting themselves be known. We have already had Sir John Sybil call his name out, possibly open the old turnpike stair door and even play with our locked off camcorder. One of the most astonishing ITC audio sessions ever was carried out here with Spirit telling us that they bless us. We've spoken to Chris Fleming of Help My House is Haunted and he has confirmed independently that a Laird and Mason does walk these rooms. Sibold, I heard that. Very uh, good. I heard that. Okay, so Sibold, that is high relevance okay. for the yes. castle here. Yeah, um, yes. Very strong family. Yes. Very. So who's the Sibold we have with us? Is there a John Sibold 
in full respect. In full respect. Are you affecting this Frank's box? Are you stopping it working properly? After the door handle was opened on the old staircase at the back corner of the room, which included footsteps heard, our REM pod began to indicate crazily for a good 50 minutes. The first time we have witnessed such behaviour, we're recording the environment with this device. In the back corner of the room is an old door to the original stairs of the tower. What just happened while conducting an audio session was the door latch turned with no one near it. We had heard movement on the stairs which were rather subtle but clearly evident. Imagine opening your eyes after a little nap in the comfortable quietness of this stunning room, only to see an apparition of a grey bearded man stare back. How about the maid who stands in the corner watching people come and go, even interacting at times? Physical activity is rife in this area. The sound of dragging, furniture moving, doors opening and closing and telltale environmental fluctuations that many able researchers record on their travels. This room has it all and we'll be spending significant time in this room.
walking past the windows travelling from left to right, as if from one part of the castle to another, we have the well-known sighting of Green Genie. Some say this is Jean Lindsay, a former Laird's wife, while others suggest it's a nickname for Mary Sybil's ghost, who was said to have suffered due to a claim by Jean. Whoever she is connected to, she's been sighted not only by the family, but also many locals spanning decades. She is not confined to the ruinous part of the castle. Drivers have seen her on the main road. Walkers have seen her in the surrounding fields too. What is she looking for? We plan to find out as we dig into the archives, the stories and then spend time in the hotspots associated with her. During each investigation, where possible, we will open up the sessions for an hour or so for our online friends so you can join in that part of the investigation. We will get your thoughts, feelings, suggestions and eyes and ears to help us communicate with the energies of this fantastic historical castle. Do you want to help in the search of Bargoni Castle spirits? Follow Haunted Scotland, like the page, share the video and tell all those with an interest in all things paranormal to get ready for the remaining part of this crazy year as we go in search of afterlife evidence at Belgoni Castle.